I'm going to talk about the courses available in, uh, in, in the area. Um, we offer levels one, two and three and four um, in the public and protective services area. Uh, level one is um, a low level course. It's, it's very general in terms of the public service disciplines that it introduces to the students and the topics it covers from health to fitness to discipline to teamwork to adventurous activities. At level two, that sort of takes it a next step up. The work is, is, is sort of is sort of harder and we expect more of our students at level two. We expect them to do voluntary um, work placements and work closer um, with the various industries um, in the public services. At level three, then uh, we go and, and we look at specialising. Uh, we've got two different pathways at level three. We've got a military pathway and an emergency services pathway. Both pathways touch base with industry on a regular basis. It's actually on a monthly basis where we work with different employers in the public services on a monthly basis. We have a fantastic relationship with West Yorkshire Police, the Navy and the Army. Um, and then also we offer a level four HNC in policing, which is something that students at level three um, and levels one and, and two can aspire to progress onto at a later date. OK, so now I'm going to um, introduce a couple of videos, uh, one of which is um, of a trip that went down to Limpston uh, to go visit the Royal Marines. So our students got to have a look at exactly what the Royal Marines do on a day to day basis, which is a fantastic opportunity for our young people. And also we're going to look uh, at a video from an ex student who studied with us, who was wanting to join uh, the fire service or the police um, and that student had a successful uh, work placement opportunity with West Yorkshire Fire Service and I believe um, she she has gone to pursue a career in that uh, following her course. Services. I chose Kirklees College because I thought it had a good reputation. On my course I've learned um, loads of team building exercises. So benefits of studying the course, we have outstanding links with um, the local the local services, West Yorkshire Police, the Army, um, West Yorkshire Fire Service, um, the Royal um, Royal National Lifeboats um, Institute, um, you know, Kirklees Council and the emergency planning team there and looking at major incidents. We also have fantastic international opportunities in Sicily and Croatia for our students. Um, this is a, a, a fantastic opportunity um, for our young people um, who can go on a two week work placement out in um, in the community, working alongside the local people, which looks fantastic on any sort of um, sort of job application. The skills that they gain from that are fantastic. Um, as you can see, uh, we expect all students to wear a public service uniform. Um, it's so important that we try and prepare our students for life in the military or the emergency services or the government services and, 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 and sort of the general sort of thing that um, overarches or in terms of all the different careers that, that are available in the public services is the fact that they've got to wear a uniform um, and it's also the skills that that develops in terms of wearing a uniform around discipline, uh, around resilience, around conformity as well. So it's, it's important to us and our students that they wear the uniform. Um, as you can see, there's a, a price of, uh, you know, price list there on the on the slide of the uniform costs and also how to purchase that uniform on, on GB Kit's website. The link is provided at the top of the. So 
what can you do after your course? Well, depending on the level that you study with us, you can do an alternative course in the college. Um, some students um, decide to do a public services course with us at a lower level, let's say a level two, and then sometimes they go and do a health and social care course, especially if they want to be paramedics or do a science based course. Uh, but the majority of our students do sort of come in to us, do public services and then progress, progress out. Um, the after level three, they would progress then on to higher education, so going to university or studying a level four HNC in policing with us, um, or go direct into military services and emergency services. Um, and as I've said, we've got a vast alumni of students that have sort of sat in the classrooms that you guys are going to be sitting in uh, and, and have gone on to join those services and we get them to come back as guest speakers year on year. Lots of students that are now in West Yorkshire Police, some are in the Army, some are, have joined West Yorkshire Fire Service and some have joined the Navy, just to name a couple. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I understand you've had lots of information to take in then. So please ask any questions that you have and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you. Um, OK, apologies for the problems we have there with videos. We will be putting them on the website for you to go back and watch. Now over to Matt, who will answer, answer the questions you've typed in. Are you OK there, Matt? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Matt, I've got a little bit of feedback at my end. Can you hear me OK? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Brilliant. OK, so over to the questions. Um, we've got somebody who wants to go to Army College in Harrogate. Will the course help them? Yes, of course. I mean, in ter it, I mean, I'm not sure what the entry requirements are for, for Harrogate College. Um, what I would say is a public services course will prepare um, students for either a career in the military services or the emergency services or government services. That's the whole point of it. The units that we deliver um, at all levels um, can be sort of transferable uh, and the transferable skills that you gain from that uh, will prepare students for um, military preparation or, or entry into the military services. OK, um, I want to join the police force. Do I need a degree or can I go straight from college? Um, so there's two routes at the moment. Well, there's a few different routes for, for the police. So some of our so students that sort of come to us and do a level three um, BTEC or NCFE course, they, they get some UCAS points as a result of that. West Yorkshire Police at present has sort of two pathways uh, that lead to full time employment. One is um, an apprenticeship degree scheme. So students need to have an, an amount of UCAS points off the top of my head. I'm not I'm not sure what they are, but it's around a merit profile. Um, once they have that profile, they can they can apply to to join the police um, degree apprenticeship route. OK, that is where someone would gain full time employment with with West Yorkshire Police. They would do an apprenticeship alongside their their duties, as it were. And at the end of it, they would have um, a degree. The other route is going to higher education, so going to university and so you leave the college, leave the level three course, go to um, higher education, do a policing, um, a level four in policing, go do criminology. Um, you know, there's a, there's a wide variety of different degrees you can go and do and then you can also join uh, the police on the graduate scheme. So you would join with a degree uh, and you would work um, and you would gain employment um, from that point on. There's also special police constables, which is a volunteer role that um, that people can do from the, the age of 18 and upwards. And some of our existing uh, level three year two students are working in that role at present or trying to um, gain entry uh, into this, you know, sort of training uh, to be special police constables. You've also then got PCSOs, which is slightly different. So that's community support officers. Again, um, students can gain entry um, and, and access that straight off the bat from um, finishing college, straight progressing from the level three. But again, that's a lot down to the life skills. Um, and then lastly, there's civilian support roles as well in the police that a lot of students sometimes miss. Lots of civilian uh, support roles um, that I could go on and talk about for, for, for a long time, but you don't necessarily have to go to university to get on to or to gain access to the, the civilian support roles within the police. Thank you, Matt. Um, someone's asking about a public service course at level three. Is it very practical or do you spend a lot of time in the classroom? Um, we do spend 
uh, sort of a large amount of time in the classroom. You know, it's not all practical. But at level three, you've got two distinct pathways. You've got the military pathway and the emergency services pathway. The military pathway, the units and the activities that you do on that pathway um, are quite practical in nature. So you've got outdoor adventurous activities. You've got command and control and looking at discipline and rank structure and teamwork. Um, and, and, and they are very hands on and it's about leadership and it's about sort of leading from the front and working in a group and looking at group cohesion. And then you've got the emergency services pathway, which is more academic. It's looking more at custodial care, looking at law, looking at um, sort of citizenship and, and conformity and obedience. Um, so two distinct pathways. There's more practical elements for the military pathway than the emergency services pathway. Thank you. Um, level three, can I resit my maths alongside this course? Yes, um, yes, you can. Um, at level three, we have sort of, as I said, two pathways, but we also have three qualifications on there, um, all of, 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 of a different sort of uh, varying in terms of um, how hard it is. But ultimately, we have a level three programme for everyone, um, depending on entry requirements and depending on the GCSEs that you're coming in with. OK, how long does it take to complete the level two course? One year. Um, do you get to use the gym on this course? Yes, um, as I've said, the gym um, in, in previous sort of presentations is the gym is free for all students um, at Kirklees College. Um, so all students, no matter what course you're on or, or curriculum area you, 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 you sort of part of you can access the gym however what i will say um which is something that that's really good that we do in, in public services is we do military not military preparation public service tra physical training so ultimately depending on the on the public service that you want wanting to join there'll be a, a a varying nature in terms of the fitness requirements that you need to have to gain entry into that service so we have on students timetables in public services an hour a week where they have the opportunity to work with the gym and physical training manager to get to the level of fitness that they need to be able to access the career that they want to access whether that's being a Royal Marine in in the Navy or whether that's going and being um, you know a regular PC for West Yorkshire Police there are fitness and uh, fitness entry requirements that you need to meet so we do put that on for our students. Thank you. And then someone else, uh, the question is, do you get to spend much time with the army? Um, what we do is we have regular visits um, to all industries. So we have regular visits uh, with the army, um, West Yorkshire Police, West Yorkshire Fire Service, the Navy. We, we go out to them and visit them in settings in industry. So whether that be at Cargate for the police, whether it be up to the Huddersfield Fire Station for West Yorkshire uh, Fire Service, whether it going to Strensel uh, and working with the army. So we go out to them, but they also come to us and, and they're coming to us roughly maybe every six to eight weeks at present because of the pandemic. They're either coming into us and having chats and doing sort of seminars with our students or they're doing that remotely online. Um, but that's something that we really pride ourselves is the, is the partnership and relationship that we have with industry because I think that is one of the, the the major sort of positives that we have because we also have a lot of students that have, have sort of as i've said in the presentation that have gone on to join those careers so they always come back in as guest speakers and and, and support us with um with with giving our students the appropriate knowledge to get to where they want to be okay so we've got one uh, somebody that's asking a question that's in a few parts so i'll try and break it down how long would I be at college if I did level two and three? And also, could you go straight into level two or do you have to start at level one? No, so it all depends on the GCSEs that you come into the college with. So the entry requirements, as I've said, are on the website, but you can come in at level two. You can come in at level three. Predominantly, you're looking at five, fours and above to get onto level three. OK, but at level two, if you come in at level two, you would do level two for one year and then you would do the level three course for two years. OK, and then so the next one is. Um, uh, someone's questioning the equivalency, Sorry, I was just trying to read it clearly. Um, if you take 
it, level three, it's only worth two A levels and three are required for uni. Is the level two worth two A levels or three? So let me so let me just break this down. So level two, so the level two BTEC that we offer at the moment is the equivalent of GCSEs. If you go and do the level three, if you do the National uh, Foundation Diploma, which is the emergency services pathway, that is the equivalent of three A levels after the two years. So students that do that pathway will do the two year pathway. They will then get the equivalent of three A levels an amount of UCAS points and their path, their exit routes are either going and looking for the police degree apprenticeship, straight access into, into West Yorkshire Police, or going to university normally. If the student goes down the military pathway, that is the equivalent of two A levels, but the military pathway is for en entry into the military. So students that are wanting to go to university or wanting to join West Yorkshire uh, police or fire service or be, become a paramedic, they need to take the emergency services pathway, which is the more academic route. OK, um, linked to that, somebody's actually asked, is there any exams you have to take at level three? So again, the military pathway doesn't have exams, more practical in nature, looking at developing the individual and, and, and actually develop those individuals into leaders. And then the emergency services pathway, which is a more of an academic course, does have exams. Um, they are BTEC, um, it is a, a BTEC National Foundation diploma. So there are exams on that on that qualification, yes. OK, um, we've got a couple of people typed in actually about the entry criteria for level three. So I've put that it's five GCSEs, grade four or above, including English and ideally maths. Yeah. They don't need any other specific GCSE subjects to the mat. It can be anything. No, what I have said um, at interview, and I, th and I think it's reflected on the website, but I'd have to check, is for the emergency services pathway, um, we are asking for maths and English in, in, in most cases. What I will say is, though, if we do have an exceptional candidate and that person, you know, has a very very good interview and are doing things outside of the classroom and, and sort of done the NCS and done other voluntary sort of um, sort of voluntary uh, other voluntary based things we we would be willing to look at you know gaining them access onto that emergency services pathway so it's not a definite no if you haven't got maths and English but it's something that we we do ask for. OK, and um, we've got a question around the uniform. Do you still have to wear a uniform and is there any help towards the cost of it? Yeah, so absolutely you've got to wear a uniform for your public service lessons. So if you have a public service lesson um, at the college, you're expected to wear the uniform, which is black boots, black pants, a black uh, polo shirt and a black sort of quarter zip top. Uh, the reason why we want students to wear uniform is we have to instill discipline and we have to prepare you for entry into the public services. We've been doing this a long time and, you know, the success is, it, you know, it speaks for itself. So we do ask for, we do ask students to wear uniform. In terms of um, buying the uniform, it can be bought on, on the GB Kits website, which I've, I've said previously in the, in the presentation. In terms of help for purchasing the uniform, again, we there are help um, sort of processes in there um, to allow students to be able to access the uniform, um, which is through financial support, which is something that our staff can discuss with students um, at interview. OK, thanks, Matt. Um, somebody's asking about the su success rates for getting into the different forces. OK, so in terms of the success rates, it is difficult to sort of talk about specific um, careers. What I would say is in terms of West Yorkshire Police, um, we have had a large number of students that have gone on and, and joined West Yorkshire Police within three years of leaving the course. Now, I know that sounds like quite a long time, but you've got to think about the career um, and the in the life skills that you need to be able to go and fulfill that role appropriately and i know things have changed now with the degree apprenticeship route so the, the you know the environment of, of joining west yorkshire police or the police has changed but within three years of leaving us you know you're looking at around 65 to 70 percent of the students that wanted to join the police have actually gained entry we have previous students that come back and give talks and seminars now um 
you know that I've, that I've sat in the classrooms that that our students are going to be sit, sitting in. Um, in terms of the army, we've had students that have gone and, and joined the Royal Marines, students that have gone on to join the Navy. Uh, we've got two students that are, are now paramedics. So it's because there's that many different careers in the public service. It's hard to sort of track and put a percentage on it, but it is very very high. Um, in terms of the students that have gone on to join the services um, in the future. Yeah. OK, so is it BTEC level three full time and what are the hours? Uh, yes, it's full time. You're looking at around uh, three days in total um, on the main learning aim. So as I've said, you, you would you'd come onto a study programme with us. The study programme is built up of the main learning aim, which would be your BTEC level three. And then depending if you had maths or English, hopefully you would have both that would add on to your study programme. So, for example, a level two student who hasn't got maths or English would do three days public services and one day maths and English. If you're a level three student and you don't have to study maths and English, you're looking at about three days a week in college. OK, we've got somebody who wants to be a mounted police officer. Would they need to take another course or do the police do that training? So mounted police officer, that's 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 a first, to be honest. But in terms of um, uh, in, when you join the police, um, you have a probation period um, and things are, things are changing all the time, to be honest, with the degree apprenticeship route and the graduate route. But after you, when you join the police, you, you join as a regular PC. OK, so you're a response officer. OK, so you deal with emergency 999 calls. And after a two year period, or sorry, within that two year period, even you would be a 999 response officer, but then you would have various attachments within the service around like CID uh, and other bits and bobs. After that two year period, you can then go and specialise and, and apply to go into different areas. So whether that be mounted police, whether that be um, looking at operation support, op support, whether that be looking at uh, CID, whether that be looking at like child safeguarding. There's so many different sort of areas in the police, but it would normally be done after two years and the police train you. So, yeah. Okay. Um, someone's asking about the, the trips for the level three cars. Are girls and boys separated on the trip? Yes, of course. So in terms of trips and activities at the moment with the pandemic, um, you know, things are difficult in terms of trips, but once, you know, things return to some sort of normality, um, students do go on trips, they go on expeditions, they go out walking, they go and do adventurous activities like gorge scrambling and climbing, um, all in separate tents, uh, males and females separate, yes. Okay. Um, the next question is, can I go from level two straight into the services? Yes, so in terms of this, the services, so for example, previously we've had level two students that have um, been on obviously on, on level two at college and then have gone straight into the army. So the army, you just need to take, sorry, um, in the in the army you need to be able to take um, the BARB test, which is sort of like a psychometric test, which tests like comprehension, maths and English, reading and writing, and then also fitness fitness test. Same for the Navy and the RAF, to be honest. So those military services, you could have direct entry from level two, providing maths and English with the RAF and, and some army roles as well. Something that we do have, which is which is um, a real plus is with the Navy, we have a, have a very good relationship where the Navy actually come into the college and do psychometric testing with the students, which is about an hour in time. They take four different elements of that psychometric test and at the end of it, they get like a letter from the Navy that says, right, you can go and do this job, this job and this job with the Royal Navy. All you've got to do is go down to the local NAFCO office, complete the medical forms, complete the forms, give them that, that letter and that, that's a real job offer right there and then which is a fantastic plus for our students brilliant thanks matt right so i'm just aware of time we've only got a couple of minutes left uh there is a young lady who's typed a question in i've recommended she email info and we will forward that on to you matt because it's around her personal circumstances um just a couple around how to apply yes you can still apply it is via the college website if you're at kirkley's school um, you, you can use get into and we are accepting applications up until April. 
Um, if you've already applied, a letter will be coming in the post regarding the interview process. Obviously, with COVID and lockdown, we are just reviewing that. So the last question that's come in is, if I was to go to uni, what course would I like to take to continue on to my career? I think that person earlier asked about the police. OK, so policing. Um, for example, if you were going to study higher education with us, for argument's sake, so you would do a level three um, emergency services pathway um, BTEC with us, then you would progress onto a level four HNC in policing um, if that was the route that you wanted to take. But some students go and do criminology. Some, you know, you can do a degree in anything and still and then apply to West Yorkshire Police and get onto their graduate program. However, it is obviously better to do a public services related course because the skills and the concepts and the pedagogy that you pick up from a public services course will put you in good stead for getting into the services in, in the near future. So in terms of university course, a policing degree, a foundation degree in policing, a HNC in policing level four would be the course that you'd be looking at if you wanted to go to university and study something related to policing. OK, thank you very much, Matt. We've answered all the questions that have come in. And um, to so the person that just typed in that they live in Calderdale, you can apply via the college website. Um, OK, I hope you found that useful. If you would like to attend any of our other virtual open days, then please visit our website www.kirkleyscollege.ac.uk and click on the virtual open days page. On that page, you will also find general presentations about the college and its centres. If you have any further questions, you can email info at kirkleyscollege.ac.uk or call 01484 437070 and a member of the info team will be available to answer your questions until 8 o'clock tonight. Thank you for attending. A recording of this presentation will be available on the website within 48 hours.